So before we do get started, firearm is clear. We will get started with the green laser. The green laser does come with a battery level indicator, which you can see on the switch. The laser is extremely bright and it features ambidextrous controls. The laser does take two CR one third end batteries, which are mounted at the bottom. The laser also comes with this very own holster, which is an inner waistband holster. It's very comfortable to wear. The MA2 does feature a bright LCD display, which displays the lumens outputted, your battery level, as well as the company's logo. It does have a really strong housing, which is made out of good aluminum, so you don't have to worry about it breaking if it falls. It also comes with an inner waistband holster. I just wish it had a claw to be able to get that deeper concealment. It does come with a dim, high, and a strobe mode, as well as a magnetic charger and six different adapters to be able to mount it to the firearm of your choice. We will be dropping this MA1 by Warriorland. You guys can see the light and laser does work, so we're going to go ahead and be dropping that in there and um, seeing how it survives the water test. Since I have not been able to do water test on any of these lights yet, this is the one that I'll be conducting it on. So yeah, made by the same people. So if this is waterproof and it works good, then that means that the MA2 and the green, la uh, green flashlights will work just fine. So let's go ahead and fill up this tub and let's go ahead and drop it in there for a couple minutes. MA1 crossbow by Warriorland. First water test. I'm gonna drop it in there for about a minute and let's see how she does. So it's been a little over a minute now and let's see, let's go ahead and grab this out the water. Hey, Warriorland, I'm, I'm, it's on still. I'm gonna just go ahead and set it down because like I said, these, these animals are on special. I ain't trying to end up with a, with a, you know, my hand blown up like a whole light. But we're gonna go ahead and sit it there for a minute and see if it stays on for a minute constantly. So let's go ahead and check that out. Crossbow did go ahead and take some pretty heavy damage. I did go ahead and drop it like 10, 15 times. And then on the final one, I threw it like 30 feet um, in the street. So yeah, I dropped it directly on the lenses and look, it didn't break. It just, or not on the lens, on the actual flashlight, it didn't break. It just has some really bad, um, you know, hits on there from where the metal hit the concrete on the bottom as well. But I mean, the functions are still able to, you're still able to um, get to the functions, switch it just very easily. So I don't think there's a problem with that. Um, yeah, the light still turns on. Actually, um, let me see. Oh, it's figured out finally something will happen. So after throwing it, this um, right toggle switch right here is kind of stiff, it still works but it's still stiff. If we would have dropped it probably a couple of times, it probably, let me go ahead and show you guys the actual dip. So this one, you just click. This one is like a push and it's like really mushy to get to the thing. So yeah, um, that's something that went ahead, did get damaged, but nothing too crazy. You guys can see the digital display is still working. Light and laser are still working. Strobe still works. So yeah, that is, um, the best torture testing I could get on one of Warriorland's products. And this was the first item I reviewed and uh, I kind of wanted to torture test something before reviewing more items. So yeah, this is um, a pretty good base. Drop in water again. So we did more testing. My brother went ahead and stomped the thing right here with the, with the big brick and um, it broke the glass, but as you guys can see, the display is still going strong. Shout out to Warrior Land, man. They are durable. Not bad for a company that's budget. And you know, I'm saying this, that'll put a lot of people at ease that the fact that their light can go into water, that it can get dropped a couple of times and get abused a little bit. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and peace.